Good morning, boys and girls. Let's do some math. So we are continuing with our subtraction, right? And when we subtract, we look at a number sentence, and then we want to find the difference between those two numbers. Right? We're finding that's what we're really doing. We're finding the difference between two numbers. So, for example, if I had four minus one, what I'm doing is taking four and one and seeing what the difference is between them. All right? We're taking away one. We're finding the difference there. Okay? So take away, subtraction, finding the difference. We're doing the same thing. Okay? Four minus one. Now how can we do this? Well, we can do it in a number of ways, right? We have a number of ways to figure these problems out. One of them is down here. So I've already made a number line for us that we could use. If you like to use a number line, or if you're still trying and figuring out this number line to see if you like it, we'll give it a shot right now. What do you say? This is 4 minus 1. So what we do with 4 minus 1 is we find on our number line, we find that number 4. Right here. I've got it. My number 4. The next thing you want to do, you check your whole sentence. What are we doing here? That's subtracting. So that means we're going to be taking away. So we're going to be getting smaller. So we're going to be going this way because that's where the numbers get smaller. You see that? Numbers are getting smaller. 4 minus 1. So this 1 now means that we're going to hop back one spot, one time. And we're going to count once we land, right? So we start here at 4. We count 1. That's how many hops we're doing. We end up landing on the number 3. 4 minus 1 is 3. This is also known as counting back 1. All right? Counting back 1. We'll also be counting back 2. We'll also be counting back 3. All right? This time was 1. All right? Another way to figure out this problem, or if I just want to double check, is I can use my dots. I can use my dots. You remember what we did with our dots with subtraction? Here's my four. One, two, three, four. Now we want to be careful because uh, we are subtracting. So we're going to be taking away from this total. So we're not going to add any other dots over here. No, we're just going to use these four. Use that first number, draw those dots, and that's it. Now we're just going to take away. Now if you remember way, way back when we were doing subtraction before, the way we did it is we circled it and crossed out however many it told us to. How many does it tell us to circle and cross out here? Just one. Circle any one of these, cross them out. Now I count how many are left open. One, two, three. Again, four minus one is three. Right? So no matter what, what strategy you choose, the answer is going to remain the same. Right? Okay. So the other way that we were doing this is with cubes. Now, if you saw yesterday what happened uh, to my cubes, unfortunately, I haven't received any cubes uh, yet. Well, I'm hoping that... What was that? Oh, nothing, Mr. T. What? Hello, boys and girls. It is I, Mrs. Duck, and I am the hero. What? Boy... Yeah, thank you very much for bringing some cubes. I, I, I really appreciate it. Yes, well, I see all the other heroes doing all these nice things, and I figure, why not me? Why not Mrs. Duck? Hmm? 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 You know, Mrs. Duck, do you happen to have another another set of ten? Because I might need some more. Well, yes, let me, let me go see what I have over here. What do you have there? Is that, is that a fire truck? What? Oh. Excellent. Thank you, Mrs. Duck. Thank you very much. No problem, Mrs. Mr. T. I am the hero. I'll be seeing you all later. Ta-ta. Bye-bye. See you later. Okay, really, bye-bye. All right. Mrs. Duck, thank you very much. We have cubes, boys and girls. So, what was our problem? Oh, yes, 4 minus 3. So, we have our 4. Let's take 4. Oh, it was 4 minus, minus, 
it was 4 minus 1 equals 3. Sorry, I got a little bit confused. 4 minus 1 equals 3. So I take my 4. Make sure you have 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Minus 1. 1, 2, 3. 4 minus 1 is 3. We got the same answer. We got the same answer. All right. Okay. Let's continue on. Let's try another one. Let's do, what do we say, a count back two. So let's start at six. So it doesn't work. Let's try it again. Six minus two. So we're going to start at six. We're going to count back two. I'm going to use a number line on this one. The number line is right here. It's ready to be used. Here is six. I'm going to count back two. One, two, what did I end up on? Four. Six minus two equals four. All right? Big thing with the number line you want to, to remember is you don't start counting until you make your first jump and land. Okay? So I'm not going to start counting until I land. One, two. All right? Don't start counting until you land. All right, so let's count back two. Now, let's try, actually let's do a count back three. What do you say? Count back three. Let's try a little bit bigger number. Let's go seven. Seven minus three. What could that be? Hmm. Well, you know what? I'm going to show you the dots again. It's been a while since we did it. I want to show you the dots again. So we start with the biggest number. We're going to draw that many dots, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There is seven. Now the next step with that is we are going to take three of them, circle them, and cross them out. Just three, because that's all it's telling us to do. Three. So circle, cross out any three you want. There's the circle. Crossed it out. Now my last step is just to count how many dots are left. One, two, three, four. Seven minus three equals four. And that is counting back three. So today we practiced how to count back one, how to count back two, and how to count back three. And we're going to remember that this is now the difference. So 7 minus 3. What is the difference between 7 and 3? The difference is 4. And this is a completed subtraction sentence. All right? All right, boys and girls, I want you to have some fun with this subtraction today. We are going to be continuing in our book. We're on one, 155 right here. Look at all these wonderful problems. We're going to start here at 13. You're going to go all the way to 36. So there's a lot of work today. It's counting back 1. Counting back two or counting back three, just like we did here. Find your favorite, your favorite strategy and use that. Whatever works best for you. I tried to demonstrate uh, a little bit of, of three of them today. Which one's your favorite? What do you like to do? Use that one, okay? Have fun with it. And we will see you next time for math. Bye-bye.